A travel agent appeared in court today on charges of taking money for airline tickets that never got booked. Seven on your side's Michael Finney first reported on this suspected scam back in 2004 and has this update. Getting a little nervous, but other than that, I'm looking forward to it. Navraj Pera of El Cerrito is talking about the wedding that he almost couldn't go to. It's disheartening. I mean, there's no other words for it. It just breaks your heart. His father paid $5,000 for four airline tickets so the family could fly to India for the wedding. He says the tickets never came. That's the same thing his male Kalong of El Sobrante says happened to her. She paid more than $1,100 for her son's first trip to his parents' homeland, India. He wanted to go see the roots where his parents came from. This is a travel agent that they say was supposed to come through with the tickets. Iqbal Randalwa is a former Fairfield City Council candidate. He and his son, Manjinder, face multiple counts of fraud, grand theft, and failure to refund money in Solano County. Police believe the crimes occurred while the pair was facing similar charges in San Francisco. Currently, we have so far documented roughly over 100 uh, victims. The Rendalas, along with Iqbal's wife, Gerda, are accused of owing victims more than $100,000 in San Francisco, where a preliminary hearing is about to get underway. One of the defense attorneys says he'll enter a not guilty plea. Because they're not guilty. So that's always the plea you enter initially in any event. Seven on your side first tried to talk to the Rendalas about the problem back in 2004. Hi, I'm Michael Fitty from Channel 7 News. Talk to you. you don't want to talk to me? Nope. We have a lot to talk about. A lot of people aren't getting their tickets. Police in San Francisco arrested them two years later and M&K closed. Prosecutors in Solano County believe the Rendalas used their Fairfield home to resume operations late last year. It's absolutely fraud. Absolutely fraud. Both the Paras and the Kalongs have been forced to purchase new airline tickets to make up for the ones they say they didn't get. Police tell us additional charges could also be filed in Santa Clara County, where there was a travel agency as well. I'm Michael Finney, 7 on your side.